Have you ever felt an uncanny presence in a vacant room? Meet Arjun, a lively young man with a thirst for adventure. He finds himself ensconced in a vintage creaky house in a secluded Indian hamlet, a world away from the city's hustle and bustle. The house, with its weathered walls and age-worn charm, held a strange attraction for our main character. But as the days passed, the ancient house started revealing its quirks. Lights blinked without any pattern or logic. A chilly draft whispered through the vacant halls, and doors creaked open of their own accord, as if welcoming unseen visitors. Yet, Arjun, with a brave heart and inquisitive mind, dismissed these peculiarities as mere eccentricities of the old house. However, the ghostly whispers that swirled in the night silence gradually began to take a more tangible shape. And then, one horrifying night, the whispers transformed into a voice. The voice was like a plea in a language unfamiliar, yet comprehended. It was a gentle whisper in the wind that Arjun couldn't disregard. It felt as if the voice was reaching out to him from an invisible world, begging for assistance. He could sense the urgency, the cry for help, and somehow it resonated with him. The voice was imprinted in Arjun's mind, leading him on a journey of curiosity. He felt an unexplainable desire to decode this voice, to grasp its plea, to fathom its tale. It was a bond that felt deeper than anything he had previously experienced. And so Arjun decided to probe further. He began to investigate the history of his house, the place where the voice seemed to emanate. As he delved into the past, he stumbled upon a shocking discovery. The house was once home to a young woman who disappeared without a trace years ago. Her disappearance was enshrouded in mystery with no solutions, only questions. Was the voice he heard her voice? The bond that Arjun felt with the voice was now enriched with a sense of mission. He decided to assist the voice, the young woman lost in time. He resolved to unravel the mystery surrounding her vanishing. He was determined to give the voice a face, a narrative, a resolution. Arjun decided to solve the mystery of the vanished woman, oblivious of the perils that lay ahead. As Arjun dug deeper into the past, he unearthed the story of love, treachery and a curse. The house that he had once seen as a peaceful refuge was tarnished with the dark memories of a forsaken woman. She was a woman of elegance and civility, deeply in love with a man she believed was her soulmate. But love, as enchanting as it may seem, can sometimes wear a mask of deceit. Her lover, seduced by the allure of riches and status, betrayed her and wedded another. Heartbroken, she cursed herself to wander the house as a spirit, bound by the chains of her unreturned love. A love story had turned into a saga of betrayal and eternal torment. As Arjun pieced together the remnants of this tragic tale, he felt a connection with the spirit. He understood that the unseen presence was indeed the same woman, craving justice and a release from her perpetual agony. Her cries were not of wrath but of pain, resonating through the corridors, yearning for salvation. Driven by a newfound sense of duty, Arjun decided to confront the betrayer, now an elderly man residing in the same village. A confrontation that could be the key to liberating the spirit from her ceaseless sorrow. But as Arjun approached the old man's house, he felt a shiver down his spine. Something wasn't right. The door of the elderly man's house creaked open, unveiling an empty, darkened room. With fear clutching his heart, Arjun stepped forward, his footsteps reverberating in the eerie quiet. The freezing air prickled his skin, raising goosebumps. The sense of dread was tangible, yet he couldn't shake off his resolution. Facing the old man, Arjun demanded the truth. The old man, his eyes filled with remorse, confessed his betrayal. But along with his admission came a shocking revelation. The woman they were discussing was no ordinary woman. She was a witch and she had left a curse, a curse that was irreversible. The revelation hit Arjun like a blow. His heart hammered in his chest as the old man's words echoed in the room, the curse is irreversible. Arjun stood there dumbfounded. The old man's words echoed in his mind, the curse is irreversible. What would befall Arjun now? Would he manage to free the spirit or would he too become a part of the curse?